Hello. Okay. Right. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing uh actual no longer resources and accounting things. Now we're gonna get some pretty fucking good shit. You know, welcome to that good stuff. So let's get into that juicy meat. Um I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I can tell. Yeah. So um who wants to go first here? Who has something they want to do? Because otherwise, I, I know what I'm going to do. But, I guess but. I shall take the lead on this. And as the room clears of uh, our fellow courtiers, uh, yeah. it just leaves the three of us in here. Uh, I look to Aurelius and I give him a hug because the last time I saw him, he was ascending the steps to the temple and I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, uh, Aurelius looks a little bit startled, um, but doesn't like <clears throat> have a problem with... He like, doesn't like pull away or anything like that. And uh, then I, I look to the two of you, um, and my, my face turns grave, and I say, um, you asked me if I had a cause to believe that Swan might not be the chosen. In truth, I do believe you when you say he is. I have no reason to not trust in your judgment. But I must also trust my own eyes, and more importantly, my own sensibility. Swan, I've told you about Natala, and though I would leave it entirely for you to know and for you to act on alone. Demetrius is her blood relative. I'm sorry, Aurelius. Demetrius was her blood relative and still, Demet uh, still Aurelius is. And so, unless you object, I feel he should know. If my knowing is predicated on my relationship with the Queen Regent, then I should not. Ooh. Mason, go ahead and speak your mind, I suppose. I doubt anyone could stop you anyway. It's so nice that we've and got Under my work. breath, I'm just like, uh, those <laughs> etiquette lessons I've paid for have gone completely unnoticed. <laughs> yeah, I've I've not seen him yet. He's not been he's not been there visiting. Maybe you just should the, make a belief about it. The gods turned him away, I guess. Uh but yeah, I, I look to I look to Aurelius and I say, um, I informed Swan of a predicament I was placed in. Natala had placed me on, under guard in the North Tower. She is of an unhealthy obsession with Queen Abrogale II. She means to invoke hell to secure hegemony over, over Brevoy. She wanted me to call up the creatures of the Netherscape for her. I told her I would help her and I will cleave to that. I won't summon help for her, but I will help her, as I hope I do now. I don't know that you still share any love for her as her former relative, Aurelius, but I know Swan carries a great passion for her in his heart. And so I asked him to do something about it. I hope he will. I hope he will set her on the right path. That is why I still will leave it to be seen if I will believe he is the chosen of Avatar. The Queen Regent cannot be allowed to summon hell to her. Hastening forth the apocalypse is not something that I can allow. Mason steps back as if to divorce himself of the topic and no, like Mason, Mason Swan ahead. immediately laser locks on Mason. You don't get to walk away from this one, Mason. You can't just drop a hot potato. This is politics would, we're talking about. What would you do with a hot potato if not drop it? Eat it. No, that would burn it's, you. I mean, I only pick up potatoes at the correct temperature. I'm Count Ronald Swat. Excuse me, your radiance, but this is not politics. It is, in fact, politics. It is The kind not. of politics of which neither of you are very skilled. That of relationships. I'm sorry to say, uh, Ronald, but I agree with Aurelius. This is beyond petty politics. Your relationship is oh, not Oh, SWAT, SWAT is definitely getting upset now. There's yeah. nothing petty about my relationship with the Queen or the politics between us. Everything no. that you want and need out of the strong wall, out of Brevoy, out of the world and Abadar comes from my relationship with the Queen. I Your will radiance. dissuade her from these 
strange ideas of demons and devils and summoning. Only a fool would seek to summon creatures from beyond. We don't need their knowledge. Look what we've done without them. It's a fantastic world without them. I would tell you more about that, but I do agree on what you've said. I hope that you will turn her from that path. I will keep a wary eye open. Your radiance. I, I don't like worry. this attitude from you, Mason. <laughs> this is very upsetting to me. What? That I would let you guard the woman you love instead of bringing accusations of devilry before the clergy? That you are so <laughs> intently focused on being against her. I'm not intently focused on being against the Tala. I find her to be rudimentary at best and really don't hold her any, any ill will. But her ambition is poison to this country if it's allowed to go untested. That is it's, why I believe that it must be your test to do this. It seems to me, your radiance, that you are the one who is blinded. If you cannot dissuade her from attempting to summon forth the end, I will take the necessary measures to ensure that it doesn't happen. I will not hear any further from either of you on this subject. You've made your ideals quite clear, and I assure you that Natala is very different than how you describe her to be. I don't With proper contest- guidance, she may one day become what she is. I would appreciate that. I have somewhere to be. Yes. I need you to go meet with the raven. Yes. And bring him back here. (laughs) Oh, no, I... I, So you want me to send for the raven? Yes. Bring him back here. I... I uh, The topic, R-E. R-S-V-P. Very well. So, is uh, I want the to topic? And... No, you can't just leave before I tell you the topic. I want to hire him away from the Mannings. I already understood that. You are not. Wizards. I just, I just tell Aurelius. I'm just like, I hate wizards so much. <laughs> you know, my family's been killing them for almost two hundred years. It's been fantastic for us. Allegedly, <laughs> say as I leave. <laughs> Your radiance, perhaps I could use your assistance with securing finances for your plans. Ah, you mean for our plans? Of course. The church's plans, Abadar's plans. And I gesture to my documentation for the strong wall. Of course. And then I gesture to my documentation for roads and hospitals, some of which specifically favor swan lands. There are also certain rituals to be followed, anointments and procedures. I'm going to make a reference. Swan is literally inches away from just being so steamed right now to be like, fuck off. But then he remembers that he's still bound by that agreement from over a dozen episodes ago to not treat the accountants like shit. Uh, And he's just like, fine, we'll do this your way. We must obey ancient and sacred rituals. There has not been a chosen of Abadar anointed in many, many centuries. I would love if when we're walking away, we have another The Wire fade to black scene where Swan is just like, actually, I don't really believe that the current establishment of the church properly reflects Abadar. Isn't what he says in our heart more important than what a man has written down in a book? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I take that. That's yeah. Really good. Yeah. So um we should start resolving some some tests I feel. Um I guess th- is there a need to have a test for one going to Paolo Lovsky and saying Swan would like to see you and then go to the Raven afterwards? I no, don't feel like We already had that we already had that scene that that Paul would like to see um, yeah, so Paul, Paul would right, like, but but Ronald. then he came back to me, and I was like, I will only see Paul if he comes to me. Yeah, yeah. And I just basically we've been bad go, No, that's I fine. We can start from there. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean to have a scene about it because it's completely unimportant to yeah. me. Yeah, so no, I, it, I just it is, go to him is. and inform him. Swan would like to have a talk. That is good. That's the thing we talked about. Uh, you could go and visit him whenever. 
and then I wish him a good day because I like the guy and I'm off. Yeah. And I mean to go meet the Raven. I believe we established that he had rooms in the castle. Yeah. Um, real quick. AP, what are your plans for today besides meeting Paul Olofsky? Uh, Do you mean in character? Yeah. Uh, meet Paul Olofsky, meet the Raven, meet the Libadens. I guess go with the Aurelius and do some rituals. Okay. Yeah. Good luck putting all that into one day. Okay. I mean, if I have to cut the rituals out, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> Good luck earning the faithful trait, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Because I'm thinking, uh, good consequences of failure is that um, you run out of time meeting someone else and piss them off. Okay. Um, so, let's talk about that. So let's meet Paul Olofsky. All right. Let's start there. I mean, I guess Paul's coming to me at the fourth wall then. Paul. Fantastic. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. Yeah. Um. Unlike unlike the the Condor, Paul has a very um. He's a very like humble sense about him, and he doesn't really remark about the place or anything. He really actually just like spot is focused on you, and um. Yeah, I think he he smiles very warmly and and accepts your handshake and uh. The very like firm grasp says, you know, uh, Count Ronald Swan, I presume. Is he in court there? I think you'd be there. We've established Masons kind of wandering around doing things. Okay. Uh, Paul, may I call you Paul? I would hate to be beheaded for being too familiar. You make. He's. He, like, you're fine. You know. I recall the Orlovskis prefer hanging. <laughs> ah, yes. You might know my uh, chief advisor, the recently announced Sulius Aurelius. That ah. gold chain does look good around your neck, Sulius. I just nod. <laughs> that was quite an impressive feat. We have not seen some, you know, and he probably he's he he acknowledges that uh, it, it was it was a miracle, right? That um, it's nice to know that things are above are watching over us. Yes, Must it is good to know me. that when occasionally we mortals make a mistake, God will step in to help us out. That's why he sent yeah, men yeah. like Aurelius and myself. To you, the people. Paul, I'm curious. Why would you wish to meet with me? My understanding was that the Orlovskis had a rather particular stance towards the Swans and all Rogarvians, on that matter. Kind of stance that ends with a man being hanged. Nothing no. but love. No, the Orlovskis love the the Rosslanders. I mean, I'm confused as to why they were coming at me then. Well, and that's no, literally what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm just... Tovin. Ah. Because they're Issian. <clears throat> well, the Orlovskis are not Issian, but the Sertovins are Issian. Right, right. So. Paul. Do you want to refrain? Yeah. This is my issue with, with such a, a stance, this anti-Issian stance. You'll never win the support that you need he doesn't want to be king my my understanding is you want to get things done in this country you have policies politics you're a idealist like me forward thinking progressive would you say this is true um does he have any no uh i'm trying to think of exactly what he's say. um he's like con swan my friend you have it all wrong you're a traditionalist conservative then that's the only i mean that is the you put, complete opposite you put you put labels on things like it's easy that's true why don't you tell me what your problem with 
my house is. I mean, you. I'm confused as to why we're having this meeting. You indicate that you want to meet with me after accusing one of my good friends of some terrible crimes and literally sentencing him to death over it, and it took God coming down to save his life. Uh, so he, just, he's, just reminding he's, you that it's not what a, happens. That's mostly what happens. He's very no. offended when you say this. He's taken aback by it um, and mentions, excuse me, you think I levied these crimes against bandits? They were your house troops, were they not? That came to arrest these men, these men who have been proven innocent? Sure, but I'm not the one who, commit, who made them commit these crimes. And yet Certainly... you are the one who are responsible for the actions of your troops. Their handling of the situation, whether they were justified by law, was clearly, as God has stepped in to say, far too rough and far too wrong. Do you think the Sertovans would come in here and, and or do what, what the law requires? I think that the Sertovans are coming to see a different point of view more recently. Haven't you heard how overjoyed they are to have Sulius as their new prophet? Yes, I hear they're quite elated. He says with a very, like, flat voice. Regardless, there are no Sertovas here now. I, like the Lord, have forgiven for what crimes were levied against me and mine. Let us move forward, shall we not? Paul, I would like to work with you and all of the other great house leaders. Um, you're going to have to persuade him here um, for anything about this. Because he's pretty much ready to just leave and give up on you. That you're just another fucking uppity person. Good. You are so so one, Cody. Swan, Swan's been very belligerent today. He's in a bad mood. Um, yeah. He's like, what's your intent, AP? Um, uh, my whew, good question. Just make it like you could you could cut it short if you wanted. Make it your Naivety. intent. With yeah. Um. He says, "You're not." My intent yeah. is that he is open to further discussions about alliances with the House of Swan and Very the Swan the Collective. Yeah. Can I can I make a, a test to like help out first? Can I make an ambition wise test to like see what he wants? Ooh, that's, be, a good one. that's a good have, one, dude. That's yep. a real good one. <clears throat> and have like fed Swan the information before, been like, I, I heard I've heard Up that too. what, what yeah. Paul Arlowski really wants. All right, cool. Yeah, no, this is that's a really good role. Um to ambition wise. Yep. What is the failure consequence? Uh fair consequence is that you completely misjudge what he wants. Cool. Um I would like to fork in um, bureaucracy for like, I got like my, my knowledge. This is like where my like knowledge comes from is like working my contacts in the, uh, the bureaucratic chain. No, no, I would allow uh, something noble wise to, I've to got, assist on this, but I, I wouldn't allow bureaucracy this the only the only ones i think his motivations yeah the only thing that i think would revoy in pertain... history wise or Rogarvian stuff could help or like i've history. got etiquette that i think might be potentially other than that it's like pretty much etiquette no. and civilization wise and the only things that come close so i don't think so no all right cool so i've no it's fine i know i was pushing it there uh all right i'm too uh, let's see. Right, so this is gonna be good. You're fucking giving the absolutely wrong information. Oh yeah! yeah. Oh, snap. Nice. You just get it. Okay. Isn't so that a difficult test too? Well. Uh, nope. Routine because it's just it's three against two. Yeah. So here's why. Here's here's the. But reason. I need routine. So this is this is what motivates Paul Orlovsky, and this is what this is rep this this represents the motivation of the Orlovskys. It's very straightforward. The Orlovskis are the perhaps the most loyal to House Regarvia as as almost as their bannermen. Um to to they were 
Orlovsky was the head of Coral's army outside of uh, Coral himself. He was their right hand man. Um, he's like their blood brother, right? If he was like a call. Um, Orlovsky's are terrified of just of having a Sertovin or er, 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 usurpation essentially of, 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 of the control of Brevoya. It won't work. And the reason for this goes way back. Like it goes way back um, to, to just how Sertovin house is, how the Sertovin house is. So um, when Coral came in and like with Orlovsky and everybody, most of the country capitulated to Coral immediately at the sight of dragons led by the initiatives by Sertova being like if you if if we we will we will surrender to you if you make me a big deal right that's what the Sertovans did that's how they got into power <laughs> while the rest of the country the rest of Rossland was like fuck that like we're going down with a fight because you're an invading force right um so uh Orlovsky's views the Sertovans as kind of cowards um, and just Issians in general as just like coward, um, cowardly um, entrepreneurs. Pirates. Uh, yeah, pirates. Literally, well, yeah. And also, it helps that this, they literally raid their northern holdings um, over the Sea of I, uh, the Mists and Veils. So, when the Rogarvian line disappears, they are very, very afraid of Sir Tovin's coming into power right they're very afraid and their loyalty to house regarvia is is second to none um right so they are <laughs> they lead the camp of they don't want to be kings themselves his ambition is to keep things the way they are uh the dragon must always have two heads and have they, didn't. Uh, they need a Rogarvian to to s keep the stabilization. You're you're changing the balance of power, and it's not going to work. It's never worked. Um, so he's very much a strong tr traditionalist of like we need to have House Rogarvian in charge, um, because the the country is going to break up otherwise. They essentially object to there being a king's mood before they have had more time to look for an another exactly. heir than uh, Noleski. And so the fact that the Sertovans are, are, or Noleski and everybody, while they are pro tempore legal people, right, like to be king, um, they're not giving them enough time, and it's like a, they're they're pushing it, right? They need more time to 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 find somebody, which is kind of fair. But like his, his, so his his what he wants more than anything, his ambition here was to see if um to see where where um Count Ronald kind of falls under this. Uh, this problem and clearly he has no problems with house sertova uh with noleski um being in charge uh i think i'm ready okay all right uh given what i've said already it'd be weird for me to have been prepared for this so i think maybe aurelius has been like taking notes and slides me over something and i look over at uh, Paul, and I'm like, Paul, I assume you've heard of my relationship with the queen. He nods. You need not fear Sertovan dominance over Brevoy. My intention in the short term is to restore power to Rogarvia and bring back the traditional pairings, the story we've heard sung a thousand times, Rogarvian and a Sertovan. A dragon king and an ice queen. I will unite Rogarvia behind me, and while we will continue to seek a trueborn heir, someone must rule and unify the country in the meantime. He stands up. Um, dude, I don't know if this is even worth a roll at this point. I don't, yeah, you could, but like, you're at disadvantage now. I'm literally that. the most traditionalist Rogarvian person in the entire campaign. So, and uh, so you just, what, you just said I, something you, majorly treasonous. And you just said something majorly treasonous. How is, wait, which part is treasonous? You're bypassing House Manning, dog. Yeah, but don't worry. We're brushing House Manning under the rug. 
Yeah, well, not to Orlovsky. Like, he's literally all about the fucking status quo, and you're, like, upsetting it. And it's not about it at all. I mean, I can, if you don't want to have a role here, this. if you <laughs> don't want to have a role here, that's fine. I um, didn't want to meet with this guy in the first place, and I don't give a shit about him. So, so here's... No, he's like... I mean, look, we can we can keep roleplay. I want to see what happens after he does. He stands up and like slams his hand on the table. He's like, "How dare you side with them after they poisoned uh, Duke Manning?" I heard the exact opposite. I heard he accidentally poisoned himself in a drunken stupor. Of course you did, because that's what, you hang out with the Sertovans. You just are you are a, a, you are strung along by them. Your naivety blinds you. You should pay more attention to the words of your advisors and less well, about your own mind. As he like looks over to uh, Mason, right? Because he trusts, he likes Mason. Mason's is Mason it Lord Orlovsky? Just because you say Dude. that, I'm fine with being here. He's <laughs> she just pop, pops into existence. He gets yeah. green yeah. screened in. Oh, are you not here? <laughs> I, 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 oh, I, I, I okay, cool. to receive the compliment. Fine. And um, I say, I say. Um, Duke Orlovsky, you are a, a man of arms, correct? A soldier? He, does he, is he nod? Or are you on does he respond? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, do you wish to test it? I chuckle he's a mad. little bit. Yeah, no, he. I, I chuckle a little bit. I say, um, I'm sure you could cut me down, but the effect of it is dubious. The Lord looks up, may keep me from dying. Anyhow, I'm sure you, then you've seen what happens, the wound that is made when a man's femoral artery is cut. It's a gash across the leg. On any other part of the body, it would not look significant. It might take a soldier out of combat for a few days, but certainly wouldn't lay them low. But if a cut happens in that particular part of the leg just deep enough to sever the artery, they die in a matter of minutes. The country may not seem so, but it is on the edge of collapse. What we need right now is leadership. We can continue the search. We can find the Regarvian heir. But we need someone to right the ship. We need to not bleed out on the ground. It is a sad fact. As I'm now in the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, it's a sad fact, but it's true. We need to look for an actual Rogarvian heir. Noleski has the blood. He is the heir apparent. And we should support him as regent. But once the crown is on his head, it will not be taken off for another heir we might find. If he is crowned king, he is king. I agree that the king's mood should be postponed while an actual heir is searched for. There is no stability that will come of crowning Noleski that is not attained by having him as regent. You three have power enough between you to facilitate this power and influence in all the lengths and breadths of the country. Please do what is right for the stability of the realm while we can look for an actual honest are you just putting Air. words into Paul's mouth? Because that's pretty much exactly where I was going to go down. Being like, if, right. you, if you actually truly cared about it, about the, the the life of this country, you would suspend the king's moot. Time is the one thing that we do not have. I am trying to save all of it. We must unite now, not later, not down the road. Abadar does not show his hand for nothing. You have There's seen what comes of this nonsense. It's time to set our differences aside and unite. There is only one who can take the throne right now, and that is Noleski. And in his capacity as regent, he is sufficient, but as king? 
he might be he might be a good king but he's not the right fit for as long as we are not certain there are not other regavian heirs out there swan is spending his whole time not looking at mason you must if one is unwilling to endure the turmoil and to strive towards the actual light what is right and what is virtuous what is wise and what is correct by the decree of the of those who came before if we're not willing to endure the struggle on that road then we cannot cleave to our claim that we will protect the country for we would cast it into turmoil for the weakness of our backs Noleski is the heir, but another must be searched for. Uh, there's no way I'm agreeing to any of that, but that's not what I'm talking to Paul about. So, uh, Do we need to make a roll in regards to what, what's happening here? I think there are several okay, intensive sort of, plans. I, need, I not... need to make, yeah, but I need, I need, to, I need to clarify <clears throat> some stuff, right? So in terms of if you looked at like the family chart of like the rulers of Brevoy, right? Um, so... Uh, Basically, Noleski is not like he's not the son of the king. He's not prince, right? No. Nope. Like you guys are, he, they're like fucking far off down like the the yes, chain. Yes. Yeah. Right. We get it. So there's Mona, Mona Rogavia was a nobody. Yeah. Right. There's this huge void of of empty space that's like because the whole Regarvian line disappeared. And there's but a big somehow question these as to guys, whether they're legitimate or not. But yeah well the these so imagine like the next three tiers down are gone in terms of a family line except for these two brother and sister somehow yep. they're the last ones in the, this little pocket that are somehow alive and it's just like okay it's fallen to them right and because it's such a de like decapitation of of exchange like you know down through power um this is this is the cause. So it's not like the sun is in, is in line, and it's like, well, hold on, this is disappearance. It's it's like there's a void. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay. The, the 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 fact that Mason is harping on here is Noleski, as far as we're aware, Noleski is descended from Myrna Rogavia, who, despite being an absolute nobody, is a Rogavia. Correct. So he has king's blood, as far as the system is concerned. The crown would pass to him as the male, as as the as the um, male heir of his line, in absence of other people. Yeah, Brevo Brevich tradition states that once a king, once a once a king, always a king. You cannot rescind the throne. Yeah, of course. Once, like, once of you course, this is exactly this is where uh, like bigger army diplomacy comes in, right? That is how kings change yeah. uh, in actuality, but uh, so... but. Yeah, so legally, the is, is, yeah. So, so basically, what Orlovsky is arguing against is signing that dot, bo that dotted line, right? It's transferring yeah. total control, right? The swearing in, the coronation of of him, rather than just being pro tempore to mm. to permanency. Um, particularly because it's such a strange problem. Um, Paul, I would love to have a country that's not at war with itself. The Mannings have refused to do their duty towards the other Regarvian banner houses repeatedly. They are not, not worthy of the position that they claim to hold. And it is no surprise not. to me that Baron Kevin has managed to accidentally poison himself. However, I believe that if I were to be named the new head of the Rogarvian families and I were to marry the queen and she was to become the actual queen, together we could unify Isia and Rosland, Sertova and Rogarvia one more time, reflecting the traditional origins of our country. You have no claim to the throne. You have no, yeah. The queen has a claim to the throne just as much as Noleski Natala does. Has, Natala has no claim. She has as little claim as you. She yeah. has far more claim than he does. She's actually held the position and done the work. That is not how the law uh, works. I cannot believe Dim I must discuss Dimitri legalism with a lord. 
Demetrius is going to bang his hand on the table and stand up and say and just point to to Swan with one hand and say, "I am tired of this nonsense. He has all the claim, not for the throne of Brevoy." <clears throat> We must all unite behind him. He is Abadar's chosen. There is no argument. There is no dissension. It has been shown, it has been evident, and it has been made abundantly clear. There is there is only dissension, Aurelius. I know I that you yeah. I know that you do not wish to see it, but that is how it is. You can I, as, as there will never be stability with a swan on the throne. The realm expects a Rogarvian. I think I think we're missing the greater picture that you guys are just like you think he's okay with you just dissing the Mannings, right? You are a lesser house dissing the, dissing them. Right? I mean, they're also a lesser house. They the Mannings no less than five years, less than five years. The Mannings are, are your with, leech house within they are memory. Your leech house they are, but they failed in all of their leechy duties. No, so we established last that's session that that's not, not his problem. We established that that's not the case. That's my problem. No, they are failing in their legi duties. What we established was that uh, I didn't have any legal ground. Exactly. So they didn't. It, we, it's what we established is that what you held to be their duties is not their duties. So their that's duty why. is apparently to just do nothing and, and expect me to they, do things for them. Yes. <laughs> welcome, to, I mean, yes. welcome to feudalism. Feudalism. Dude. That's fine. Here's the thing, Eric. Either... I make a persuasion roll to at least convince this guy to keep talking to me at some point, or he leaves the room. Is what uh, it is. No, cause... we can. Yeah, no, we can. No, it's gonna be. It'd be worse than that. Um, so here's I mean, uh... here's what's at stake as I'm seeing it. All right. This is uh, this is this is from the perspective of Paul Olofsky. How Sertova is put led by Natala and Oleski are are solidifying out of they are trying to make the Sertovan name the number one ruling house rather than Regarvia. Right? They are going to destroy the Rosslyn way of life and the freedoms that they have. They are starting by picking off House Manning after they won legally to become the Duke. So what intents are we looking at here? Because there are definitely crisscrossing intents. Yes. Uh, Aurelius wants us to rally behind Swan. Swan wants uh, Olavsky to be open for renegotiations of this topic at a later date or fall behind him now, or at least agree to the Manning thing. Uh I, I mean, want the to... grain of the Manning thing would be great, but it seems like he's pretty entrenched there. Yeah, uh, Mason wants everyone to to just like want to postpone the king's mood so we can look for an actual Rogarian. Um, that's and that's which, what which, he was saying. Which of these which of these intents are valid? Which can be attained? Um, I think the last two. Maybe you can't can't bring God into the discussion. It's literally impossible to be like, hey, this is the guy who you tried to kill and turn a chain into gold. Not right now. He's saying that this dude is the emperor of mankind and that everybody who's not behind him is a Xenos <laughs> heretic mutant traitor. Correct. <laughs> he thinks You're that's insane. Vampire. All right. Well, I, I, Mason, I guess you, you, who are you trying to convince? Everybody? Yeah. Well, I. Th <laughs> oh my god. Good luck. Okay, so. <sighs> I guess it's a, this is a lot of oratory tests. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this will be an oratory test, I guess. I'm fine with that. Uh, what's the most common will in this room? Five. <laughs> Shit. Minus four. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm guessing Paul Orlowski's probably at a six. I mean, he's got to be at a four or five. Six would be fucking incredible. I mean, six would be like what a five or six life path Lord would have. 
I mean, six. No, so say, uh, the typical uh, will is four. Yeah. Four people. Yeah, that's probably five. Mm -hmm. I mean, that <laughs> makes the average will five. Look at this. Look at Mason desperately trying to get. What what's the failure condition here? Because I yeah. already don't believe it, and Orlovsky already does believe it. So is the only person that you're capable of convincing Aurelius? I guess. I, I mean, you can't though. Like Aurelius is like if, doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care at all about the throne this, of Red Boy. This, this test. This you know test what I think? More, yeah. You know what I think? I think this scene is great for establishing our respective motivations. I also don't think that none of what, like, none of the points we are bringing up can be contested with a single role. Like, this is essentially what, what would be a four, like, a four way duel of wits if that wasn't completely mad and impossible. And basically, this should be like a sign uh, for us to be like, what well, should we discuss in uh, the future? Here's I, the thing I'm not trying to convince anybody fair. but Paul of anything. Yeah, I, I was about to say, like, I, I only want to convince Paul to, to like follow Swan right now. Then maybe that's that's th those are worth then rolling. I think, I think, I think I that's the I think in terms of the stack of things, that is the top one. Then you want convince yeah. convincing Paul. All right, uh, Solius, your convince, mortal soul. Convince like, Paul to Paul, listen to Ronald Swan. Yeah, to, to the roll. So the the idea here is is I want to con yeah convince him that uh, yeah. Uh, so is this oratory or is this suasion? No, um. I would argue my argument was pretty much just persuasion. Yeah. It so seems you persuasion. Weren't, you weren't yeah. going for his moral soul here. You're saying for the good yeah. of the country. Uh, correct. I brought in some other stuff, but I am learning persuasion, so I can't fork into it anyway. <clears throat> um, what is the failure consequence for failing to convince him that R Ronald Rogarvian is the uh, Ronald Swan is the true emperor of mankind? Oh, is that the rule I'm making? Because if no, that's the case, then it's what, 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 for sure. What was your intent? My intent is that we're like for right now, he needs to join. He needs to create an alliance with Swan and the Queen, the so that we can write the, the ship. I think. I think the, the failure condition. Dying. I think the. I think the the fairest failure condition is that audience with House Orlovsky is is out of the question in the future. They won't meet okay. with you. Cool. All right. Uh, I can't. Put any forks in. Obstacle is five. Yay! <laughs> I'll spend eight. Yeah, that's eight. So I this really hate okay. you guys. Well, so then this is it comes down to this. Then it's like they won't meet with anyone. So this is it. So Aurelius, so, right? They won't. Well, this is this is being bound to Aurelius. I haven't helped out in this. Sure. Correct. Um. So yeah, then they won't. They won't meet with. Aurelius ever again. All right. Orlovsky will remember so, this. Yeah. So he just straight up. Um, okay. So so you try to persuade. You try to convince him real quick to listen to him. And I think maybe to you is when he he mentions. Um. Oh, like. Man, I don't think he's he'll he'll diss you for giving up the Sertovin name. But I do think he um, will dismiss you um, that you need to worry more about, uh, like, if you're a prophet of Abadar, care more about the people and get your head out of politics. You gave up your house name. Poli like, don't, like, don't play the politics game. Rude, but cool. Something, something to that effect. And then what's wrong? I am not playing at politics. I'm playing at saving your life. Did you just get a super difficult wheel check right there? Uh, just difficult. Oh, wait. It is challenging. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. AP. Uh, gosh. I would love to get his support for uh, Manning being failures at their job. Is that anywhere near likelihood? That's possible. All right, let's do it. Um, uh, the consequence is that you need you need proof of what you need to convince. You need convincing proof that the Mannings are that that 
Right. You, I you don't need know. To, uh, you need to you need you need to bring evidence to support them. You All need right. to forge the law. Um. Here's what I would say. I need to prove how you wanna, incompetent you they prove? are. Here's no. Well, no. 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 You have to prove. This is this would be the failure condition. If you want right. Orlovsky on your side, you will have to prove. Find out who, why, who, who poisoned Baron Kevin. Ah, uh, there we go. How about that? Oh boy, that's exciting. Sleuth. You All have right. to get to the bottom of that. What did we say his uh his will was? Uh, we didn't. But it's five because he's a dude. Oh, it's five. Okay. Uh, and what is your intent? Can he try to convince you of something? Yeah, that's the versus test. I know, but I'm thinking. What does he want to convince me? Um, that he is the dubliest of all the dukes. No. That uh, I should support his bid. No, 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 the, no, not at all. I think for I think, the. No, you should submit the I think king's he, he, Should he? Yeah, that one. Can, can he convince you? Oh, boy. Um. I want to know what this is. No, no, you just—it's a—it's a will. It's a will. You just—he doesn't have anything okay. to convince you. You have to convince him. What's your intent? Uh, I mean, that literally, my intent is as stated: that uh, the Orlovskis will withdraw their support for the Mannings and back a swan play. This one play what? On becoming the chief house of oh. Rogarvia. Cool. Okay. That they're like, yeah, this is the traditional Rogarvia we've all heard about. Not these Manning losers. Uh, okay. So that's that's different. Um, am I unable to help because of the last test? Yes. Yes. I don't think he cares. <laughs> um, I, think the, I think the big thing, yeah. I mean, okay, I will also say ambition-wise, talking about it, you know what his number one ambition-wise is? He doesn't want a war. He doesn't. Like, he ultimately, he doesn't want a war. I mean, I don't want a war either. He doesn't I want agree with Mr. That. Tovin's in charge. Yep. Right? Uh... If you can, so if you can start convincing him that you can keep the Sir Tovins in check... Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's definitely going to be my... I'm going to keep being like, you've heard about my relationship with the Queen. Yeah. Right? I like, also don't like war. Is This is, is your all... shot. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, so if you succeed, you get their support for Duke of Rogarvia. Yeah, for or at least yeah. undermining the Mannings. Um, I don't think this is a duel of wits, Yugi, in chat. Uh, because I don't think that's there's technically not a belief on the line here for for. Him. There's not, which is why I'm also not going to throw a bunch of forks into this. I think I'm just going to fork Lordwise, uh, and with seven dice, that'll be a difficult test. Nice. Are you just uh, looking? At, are you just looking at an op of his will, or are you disadvantaged? He seemed oh. very adamant against you, uh, like challenging the leash house. That's true. Uh, I think I think a, dis a fictional disadvantage would make sense. Okay, so it's now op six. This is extraordinarily unconventional. Um, so I can go up to eight dice on op yeah. six. So I'll fork, uh, Lord Wise and Noble Wise. Cool. Really, I'm just pulling a mason here. I don't give a shit what happens, and I'm just looking for the difficult test. Right, let's do it. Fight for what you believe. Uh, I will. Oh, Holy shit! It's green. <laughs> oh, you're so rolling good. crazy well right now. <laughs> wow. It's because I it's because I failed with that lawyer last An week. Eight dice, ob six. Twenty. Guess the roll. And guess what, motherfuckers? My persuasion is now seven. Okay. Nice. Oh my god! I think then, it's then, probably then, I no 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 talk no no them okay. down. no no. This is what happens because actually I have I have how this plays out. Okay. Um, he looks at you, um, and he actually has been keeping this a secret. Um, and he'll tell you this. Um, he he'll look at you and, and say that the only reason why I haven't um ratted you out to House Manning or or cut you down right now for your talk. He looks at you and says, um, "You, I see you are a reasonable man. That's true. You want, you both, we both want to avoid a war. That's true as well. It's not true for the Mannings. 
I suspected as much. I can't make any any reasons with you, right? Like, I can't make any moves against them, right? I understand, Paul. And I want to, like, stand up and walk around the table and offer him my hand. Yeah. Well, he doesn't take your hand right now because he's still talking. Oh. Um, It's the raven. The raven wants a war. Why, I don't know. But you cannot trust these Mivenese saw swords. If I were you, I wouldn't trust. If I were you, I would be afraid to trust any mercenaries. Mason nods and, and Mason nods smiling. Just, yep, yeah, this is what we talk about. So he's saying, so like, this is why he's like, my, my spies have told, have been showing me, like my spies have told me the Raven is absolutely not to be trusted. He is the one who is convincing Darren Manning to, to move and, and, and buy up as many, uh, mercenary companies as he can. I don't know why. Stand up and shake I his think hand he's worked. Oh. And he, well, he says he says this to you then, right? Because it's we're friends, and you know, and he's, he's he's like, I don't know why, but I think the Sertovans are working with him to cause this war for them to solidify their throne, and I'm afraid of that, and I'm working on that. If you can find something out about that, right, we can prevent a war. Sounds like not. Can I walk around the table and shake his hand now? This, by the way, I'm I'm also pointing out this is his this is his point of view. This isn't necessarily true. Right, I understand. Yeah. Okay, Paul. I realize, given our temperaments and our positions, we have a long way to go before we are allies. But I believe that we can be friends. And I will watch myself yeah. with the Raven, as I have him scheduled in for later today. <laughs> yeah. And I, too, wish to avoid a war. I have noticed this abnormality with the mercenaries of Revoy and... I am looking into it, and I look at Mason. I, I nod to you. I say, plans are coming underway. I believe I can destroy their army even with half their force. I don't know about that. I, I don't want to fight. I agree. I Fighting don't want to fight. Not Paul, ideal. I will look into what's happening with House Manning and the Raven and Darren and Kevin. And we will keep this country from civil war together. Nice. Awesome. Badass. Badass. All right. I'm really glad I succeeded on that role, even though before I rolled it, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Mason looks incredibly approving. So this is one of those things. This is, I, yeah. I I want to draw attention real quick as a GM, because I have like, I have a fictional established thing that what's going on about this. And because you rolled this a certain way, I feel like the story gets told a certain way because of that. Just like how in Star Wars, you know, when Luke fails to circles up. From Obi-Wan, my point of view, the hit, Jedi are evil. He gets evil. hit in the head, right? And, but he still ends up, when he looks for Obi-Wan, he gets hit in the head and comes out there, right? So it's like you're failing forward. And this is what this is what succeeding forward looks like. Is that you get, AP, you, by the, you, get uh, a, you get a friend in this and in, in, in sharing this instead of it being you on, on alone trying to solve this. By the way, AP, that's not a circles test. That's a failed acting test. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Sick. Boom. Okay. Cool. All right. What's next? The Raven or the church? All of them. All of them, All of them at once. We meet the Raven in the church. Well, I mean, hold on. So how are you even getting a meeting with the Raven? I was just going to go and apologize for puking on him and ask him if he would talk to Swan. <laughs> All right, let's do that scene. Right. Oh, I, I, I this knock, will go there well. Is, there is a knocking outside his door in, in the Ruby Keep. Um, Ruby Fortress. Yeah. Um, he's probably busy. So. Mm. I wait for him. How, to how do we this. determine? I think you need. You, you have, I think you have a circle in, man. I don't know him, so I can't. Okay. Um, and then can that's you not circle a, someone a who knows him. Circles. Can you circle someone who knows him? No, I don't think I don't. I wouldn't oh, want to. I've got it. I'm, I've got I'm just it. Going to his chamber. So if he's not well, there, he's, he's, not, like, he's not there. I'm busy, it, and I'm waiting. He's not there. 
Yeah. Then I'll wait for him to return. You're going to wait a like, long time. Okay. Um, can I ask for him? I've got an idea of, if like he can't find him, could I circles up like a servant who would know where he is? Because I like know everybody and like most of the people who work here, I either know or work, they work for the Sertovas. Yeah, of course you could. Um, cool. Of course you could try to uh, circle up someone. You know, someone. Using your Sertovan heritage. <laughs> Uh, well, I was specifically, because remember we talked about how there are some people that are like Ruby Palace people and some yeah. people that are like specifically yeah. Sertoven. So you're getting, so yeah, so, so Mason, what I'm saying is you're getting basically stonewalled, all right? Sure. And you're going to need to figure out a way around this. And I, I think, I think here, uh, Sulius is, is giving you a, yeah. a leg up. You go to your oh, good yeah. friend Aurelius and Aurelius frowns at the right servant who tells you <laughs> what you need. Um, uh, the obvious consequence of failure here is that um, this person's a double agent. Sure. sure. What does the ob look like for this circle's rule? Um, probably... Two to four? Yeah, I, w I would probably say easy. It's probably like three. All right. Um, so, can I fork in my reputation as the prophet of Abaddon? They don't want to misbehave. No. What? All right. Playing hardball. Well, I still do have a 3D affiliation with the House of Sertoma, unless that's changed. You, no, and you could totally use that. <laughs> All right. Um, what about my 1D reputation as a member of this charter, the original charter that got rid of the bandits? No. No? That's faded, our, our temporary fame. That won't help you find someone, won't help you find someone who knows the raven inside the, this castle. Sure. Let's go. All right. Well... Uh, it's still a 3D. So, base up three. Yes, no, no. Fate, no. Fate. Nope. No fate. Failure. So, so first, double agent guy. So you find so you find the um the guy who will lead you to the Raven. Oh my god. This um, has been a bad bad episode, guys. <laughs> for Rolf. Um Well, not for you. You've been killing it on ridiculous I think we see, So we obviously we see a scene of um Oh yeah, no. Uh, well, we, I never said who he's a double agent for. Um, it's obviously the queen. Oh, so uh, we see a scene where the queen's like, you know, talking to this person. You know, it's like, well, let me know if anyone's looking for anybody, or like any unusual things, especially anything to do with my cousin. Who he asks for people. I need to keep like keep a real close eye on this guy, and see what he's doing, right? And so we see that, and then we cut over to the same guy, um, escorting you over to see this um, the Raven, right? Yeah. I think the Raven is um he's probably Oh, it'd be awesome if he's like getting a oh ooh oh I got it I got it. Um he's actually at the um the armory. He is working on a sword. His own awesome. sword. Do you ooh. bring me with you after I find this servant or do you just then go off by yourself? I, I don't so. I don't explicitly invite you, but if you're coming along, I seem happy at the company. Yeah, yeah, I'll tag along. Why not? Yeah. All right. So I guess I I present myself before him, and I'm like, "Excuse me, hello, we've met." Oh, he looks at you, um, very coldly. Um, hmm. I have a lot of yeah. He's like you, and he like between um like shings as as he's sharpening mm -hmm. the blade, right? And he's like, you have a lot of nerve coming back here, woman. I'm sorry. Or should I say, sorceress general? Thank you. That's what I heard. I nod at him. Uh, anyway, I I'm sorry. I'm I'm truly I truly he's like. He, but he he says it in a way. He's like, um, don't. He's like, uh, oh man, that would be awesome. Yeah, no, he no. says, so he says also, he's like, um, don't think, though, that um, that gives you any protection. I've killed plenty of Numerian priestesses. How many? Four. No matriarch, though. They're the hmm. crafty ones. Interesting. They're daughters. I hope to hear more and of this he in he the tells, Actually, he probably tells you a story. 
Bella Gina tells you a story about <laughs> delightful. So, I wait for him uh, to finish. Yeah, the story. right. I know. Like he actually gets sidetracked as he's like sharpening the blade, and like he tells you a story about a uh, Numerian campaign when um, he captures a uh, a daughter of the of the um, burning sands, and he um, he lays a trap for the matriarch using her, right? Because there are acolytes, you know, think of like a witch's coven type of situation, yeah. right? Trying to get a trap there, but um. And then I, th I think like um, she she ends up like double crossing him or whatever and like hexing oh. like their men, um, but he's like, don't worry, um, I found I I found I found her later and, and beheaded her. Um, I don't know why I told you that story. <laughs> Cheers back. I, I look at him like good times. No, no, he says no, he says he's like good times. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I look at him with a forgiving attitude. I'm like, I'm, I'm indulging him. Right? This is yeah. curious to me. So I'm like, thank you for sharing. But that. I'm sure you haven't come here to swap stories as a mercenary. I wouldn't mind in the future if you would see me again. I chiefly came to apologize for the events that happened on, uh, during the party. I would have said in my defense it was a party, but I'm still, I still feel awful about it. So, yeah. my apologies. Yeah, I uh, no, he's like, no, I, I, you have a lot, you have a lot of um. You have a lot of courage showing up here. I respect that. No harm. Like, no harm was had. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. That's very He's nice. Lying. No. Yeah, I, I choose to take it instead of calling him out on it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Demetrius just kind of chuckles. I appreciate it. Anyway, I also came for another reason. Um, my employer, Count Ronald Swan, has asked if he may have a meeting with you. So I came to relay that wish. He like Are you interested in meeting with him? He takes the sword um off the um off the, the wheel, right? And mm -hmm. says I would prefer to meet him as he like looks over the sword. Uh like when I'm done with this sword though, I feel like I might need it. As he like starts going back to, to shaving it and keeping it keen. I take that as a yes. Do you know when uh, that no, will be you're, in a, you're in a roll now? Oh, cool. I'll I'll take it. Um, this is just the consequence of failure. He tries to murder me as soon as the sword's um, the done. The consequence of failure will be that um, to meet with him <laughs> will interfere with another meeting of yours. Delightful. To be determined. Um, can I help? Uh, I don't have the skill open, but if you if you have a skill, you can throw in. You can help us that with the skill. <sighs> I forgot. I should well, never say maybe you to do I anything. I should have just done this test. Damn it. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I can help at least. Um, let, me, let me ask you out of character, Daniel. Do you have any intention of opening persuasion at any fucking point? Or do you just well, use I don't it think to he's farm been will able test? To. He hasn't it's, been able to. I can't do it. I keep talking to people that turn out to have high will. Like, eventually I'll start talking to a lot of children and I'll be like, Persuasion! Yay! That's, see, I mean, that's how my intimidation is working. Yeah. He needs routine tests. So, like, yeah. he can't get them talking to people with five wheels this is the problem i know also, i have the same around. problem learning Super. intimidation yeah um so i can't it's too late for me to make the test but i'll help you i guess You're um, running around circles of people who are very like up or echelon type people yeah so i will i will like speak up and i will say um whether your sword is ready or not it shall likely be useless People find it rather hard to kill those with Abadar's eye watching down over them. It would be good for you and yours to come see. I'm sure you are not a religious man, but it's always best to step carefully around the gods, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I want to help with Swager. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. So take two um, dice. Nice. I mean, we're pretty, cool. We're pretty cool with dramatic irony, right? <laughs> yeah. It happens um, all the time. Can you do? Can we do versus suasion? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, but then I would have helping. to make the test. He's helping, uh, not rolling a test. All right. So if you want to like let me switch, because I'd rather make the test anyway, because I'd well, like to if actually you're bringing, succeed. If you're on bringing this. suasion into this, then you're actually you're also taking a minus die. Is the problem? Nice. I'll take it. Um, this is this is more because he. So what I what you're saying is I, I increased the obstacle by one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, this guy's not very religious in a way. 
awesome. like religiously anti-religious. I'll definitely take it. What's his um what's what uh, am I looking at for obstacle? Um five well four. It's it's four pl- uh with uh you have a minus one die to this test. Uh minus one die or plus one op. There's a difference there. Oh, uh plus one op. It's plus one op. Cool. So I'm looking at op five. Correct. Swing. And a miss. All right. Oh. So I you failed. Fate, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend it. Yeah. Well, oh, I mean, you have plenty of fate. So he's like, um, um, I will meet, I'll meet uh, Count Ronald Swan, but I'll meet him at a time of my choosing. Very good. Do I take the test to the beginner's luck and obstacle? He's going to, he's going to, um, boy. Um, I want I want to reveal something about this guy, to you. Nice. Let me hear it. Um, no, not to you. I'm sorry, not to you, but to to Sulius. Ooh. Um. I can say that. Um. I think he's just gonna compliment you on on your your miracle. Um, like he like recognizes it as a miracle, right? And says that um. You and I, I think, I think all he's going to say as a hint is that you and I are not so, um, not so different. And we're gonna face the dead gods. Well, uh, I mean, if you want to end there, that's fine. Because otherwise, I would say something. No, no, I think we should kind of keep going here because this is kind of interesting, and I, it's really yeah. hard for me to bring this on screen for this guy. So this is... Sure. Before you, uh, before we go too much further, um, do I take for that world test? Do I take it for the beginner's luck ob, which doubles, or is it just against the five? It's just against the five. Yeah. Okay. Then my switch um, doesn't go up. Yeah. And we also um, appreciate that this is my first test that actually counts towards learning persuasion. My nice. God. Um. Okay. This so. The, yeah. Yeah. He he says like, like compliments me on my miracle, and then says, uh, you know, you're not so different. Um, and I like, I like look at him. I like, what do I see? Do I see like, like anger? Like, is it like longing? Is it like, like, do I see like an emotion peace. conveyed? You sh- I see peace when I look Tranquility. at Tranquility. As he's sharpening this blade. Um, hmm. Um, is is your idiom, um, "strong wall shelters humanity from the storm"? Like a, a yeah, thing, a well known saying. Well, it's the uh, so it's the last line of it's um, verse sixteen, or it's in that the lost six book. Um, it's the end of that passage. That's um, the sixteenth passage. So it's sixteen. Let me just count this. It's one. Two, three. Uh, yeah. So it's it's uh, sixth book, sixteenth line, or sixteenth stanza, third line. I love that you know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. So like when when I like look at him, is there like anything like in particular like that like clues me oh, in no. on any sort of faith or anything like that no 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 he has um, no religious things on him at all he has like a he has like a like a black cloak of like you know raven's feathers and stuff but like that's hanging up it's just looks like it's innocuous it doesn't doesn't do anything it's just aesthetic yeah um yeah. and i will i will like look at him and i will say uh the guy kind of looks like john snow to be honest with you i'll I'm say that to, f- to feel such peace while thinking of killing. Something terrible must have happened to you, especially if you were once similar to me. Ah, oh, boy. Um, Do you have an intent or you're just yeah. talking? Are you, are you just talking? Exactly. Um, I'm trying to get him to talk to me more. Yeah, this is like, to... this is me doing like the priest thing of like trying to get confess your sins. So, nice. yeah, okay, that's a good intent. I think yeah, that's a, this is a test though, um, and I think it's graduated. Sure. 
Um, so I'm guessing suasion then, because that's definitely what I'm, I'm trying to get him to yeah. talk about his faith. Yeah. Um, I think the consequence of the failure is that he gets you to... can't fail on a graduated test. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's right. I mean, if you want to make it like a just a straight up test, you get no you successes. Because in the graduated test, op one. Uh, I think I, I think this is yeah, this is a graduated test op one. If you fail, um, he gets to ask you questions. Cool. Um. All right. So um, I am swaging. I think it's a, well, it's an op. Well, it is an, at least an. No, I'm sorry. I'm actually it should be op two because it's actually be one difficulty higher. Okay. Um, so I would like to fork in Abadar wise and Doctrine. All right. So, um, all right. If I fail this, this is truly true. Oh my oh, goodness. You just got one. All right, well, that's fair. You got a plus one. That's no still so bad. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. What does he say? So here, so um, what happens to you? Sam, um, Sam, Sam. He Sam. Says that, um, that he he's no. He's like he's. Oh boy, I think he's kind of. He's pre, he's very cynical. And he says that civilization is a farce. Civilization is just a is a construct. It's designed to make. It's a design. It's it's an illusion to pretend that war and conflict isn't the natural state of things. It changes the type of conflicts, but there's always conflict. Uh he, I'm imagining him like he's There's like a, saying, yeah. "Sorry, what?" He's like saying this like while like looking down and like sharpening his sword, yeah. right? Yeah. Um. So like Demetrius like I've steps. Seen, yeah. Everyone bleeds. I've seen I've seen good men do horrible things and bad men, heroes. Um. I've seen attack ships on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Off the shoulder of a ride. <laughs> that um. <laughs> Yeah, that this type of stuff is meaningless. Like that, that the formalities of civilization are kind of meaningless. Demetrius like steps forward and like raises his like he like lifts his head up, so he's like forcing him to like look at him and like look in his eyes. Okay. Um, and uh, and he will say, um, "Of course, civilization is unnatural. So is pulling." iron out of the ground and shaping it into steel so is wearing clothes on our backs so is trotting across roads and building great cities we must it's rise out of our natural order rise away from conflict but that does not mean that we will ever overcome it truly for we must survive the test of conflict that is the truth of civilization civilization is not a removal to make us fat like pigs eating at a farm. Civilization is a shield so that when the conflict, when the chaos, when the darkness comes, we have something to brace against. Join with me. Follow the right path again. I can see it. I can see that you are not far from it. I don't know what happened to you, but I know that you can be forgiven. You can be forgiven like the men who followed me. Join. Be a part of the shield, for there is much darkness and much conflict yet to come. That's gonna be really tough. Um, boy, um, I... okay. Oh, so I want to pump some god magic into this before I make any sort of roll. Um, that's good. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm I'm trying the just so you know, like the intent here is like. I want. I'm trying. I don't know what's in this guy's past, but I can see that he's struggling with some sort of conflict of faith, and no, I want to bring him that's back. That's not true. It's the opposite. He's extremely calm. Uh, you have to um, into a list. That's what's up. Yeah. So, um, 
he he's like no we're we are very similar um you just have more faith in that wall than i do i because i have seen what that storm is this country sits in the eye of this storm oh dear Oh god, I feel like I need to also... Uh, Sam, would you f- uh, do the thing you want to do? I need to also throw a roll at this guy? Yeah. Um, I mean, I I am trying to, to... I can see exactly... So now I'm, I'm like seeing that this guy is on like the other side, where it's like, I think that the storm is coming, so I need to... We need to stand against it. His kind of point of view seems to be that it's all inevitable, so why fight against it anyway? Yeah, um, very much so. That's very much his... his his philosophy right. so i'm i'm trying to swage him into fighting for his soul as opposed to just letting it die um and i would like avatar to help me be more convincing oh, that's so good. um so i would like to open in my swage and die really quick um good. as i'm doing this i think uh, i think the obvious failure condition to you trying to persuade this guy is that this guy gets more um, divinely empowered by his own. Beliefs. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, base on for opening big faith. Oh my god! All right, I'm re-rolling it. What? How are you re-rolling it? I have faith, it's and it's so open-ended faith. already. All right, faith. You, you didn't get a six. What are you re-rolling? But it's it's, it's open-ended. open-ended, so I can re-roll a traitor. Oh, that's right. That's right. my bad. Hey! Oh, just, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Not Fucking uh, Club, Sam. I'm glad you joined us. And so now his dissuasion role, so which I'm open, guessing yeah. is going to be pretty tough, yep. and not just his will. And increase one obstacle, yeah, to it. Um, his, I mean, it's a will. It's against his will, right? Yeah. So it's um five total. Okay. Um, yeah, to totally shake this guy's belief foundation here. Um, so I would like to fork in civilization-wise, uh, ambition-wise. I'm sorry, not ambition-wise, avatar-wise, rather. Um, probably doctrine, because, like, I do, like, I mean, I was just, like, quoting, um, Basically, I'm making we're making an argument of doctrine, right? He's like saying that like the end is coming and this apocalypse is unavoidable, and I'm saying like no, the doctrine says just, yeah. I just I feel like his will. I feel like that obstacle is not high enough. You can bump powerless. it up, however. So many... I feel powerless to improve it. Can no, I say no. a different obstacle than just his will. So it can be his will plus whatever. So like if if it's. Oh. If it's yeah. worth one extra obstacle dice, that's fine. If it's worth five extra obstacle dice... No, yeah, then no, this is probably... Okay, so what's your intention? My intention is to rock his... Uh, fit. I'm trying to convert the unbeliever. I'm trying to do the profit thing. Okay, you want to convert the unbeliever here. Okay, to convert him, yeah, then that's prob- this is probably like an ob seven. Okay. Uh, well, then I'm not going to fork anything in here because I need the chanting test. <laughs> <laughs> i just um, did this so good luck all you got to do is be like swan you know bend it like beckham uh yeah so i'm not gonna fork anything just have uh, faith and i have no other have Boy, this faith is, this is actually really cool. um this would be really cool wow no you fucked up so bad uh i mean i'll spend fate to re-roll still nope <laughs> so i failed to convince this guy but my suasion goes up to seven that's pretty good um yeah of course of course he failed to convince the nihilist um yeah so i like i like made that you know i make this like impassioned argument about like how i need his help and like to like get up his nihilistic ways so oh my god so here's the story you want to know how we end this? We we, we end the scene. Oh, um, oh I, I thought think... Mason wanted to jump. Oh wait, in. yeah, that's right. You do. You you do come in, Mason. That's right. Okay. Fuck. Well, this is still really important. Um, he mentions. Yeah. Go on. He, he tells the story again. Um. So I I might have I lied about not killing that matriarch at the blood sands. 
It was the last one, too. You could say the last priest, or the last priestess of a god. Struck out of this earth. Gone. In a way, I've seen a god get killed that day. No more believers on this planet. No shrines to remember them. Forgotten to time. All things are end up getting forgotten to time. Time is the storm that breaks down everything. Um, uh, Demetrius uh, looks to him and like sighs and says, um, well, some men just can't be convinced to come in during the raging storm. And I like, just like turn to leave. And I say, and I like, before I go, I like say over my shoulder without looking back, I'll be like, but be careful for when you spurn civilization, it has a tendency to spurn you as well. And then we like focus down and I want to make the uh, like random event associated with my succeeding on a miracle. Um, the sword just has like a crack run through it as like I say that. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I like that like the wheel like wobbles for a second and like breaks the sword or cracks it. Yeah. And I I leave so Damn it. Mason can have her moment, but what I'm gone. What a dick. Yeah. Wow, Sam. Wow. Rude. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I think this is all just supposed to be a simple test to get this guy to talk to him, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is really, really a disaster in every way. Yeah. So well, I really we... like I really like the Raven. So he's very he's very important to me. So this is interestingly fun. he was still going to go and talk to Swan, right? Like that yeah. wasn't the failure consequence of that initial roll. Nope. Right. It's when he so, chooses to. When he chooses exactly. To. And with a sword that's been properly cleaned beforehand. Probably. But I broke his sword. sword yeah, did. but he just needs to get another one now. It just like, means the meaning to take fucking longer. Sword. Jackass. The fucking head of a he's a He's a Mivanese sword lord. Like you I was joking, sword. okay? Yeah. Um, you did break his dueling sword, which is pretty yeah. big deal. Can I ask you something? Sure, sorcerer. Uh, I mean, it's obvious you're a sorceress, right? I mean, he would probably know you as a sorceress general. Right. Ass. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, right. Some people yeah. know. Um, sure. You can call me Mason. About my... Yeah, he's like, another question about my soul? No, uh, well, no. But about your life? Um, sure. You've seen, you've seen a god die, yes? You're listening. I was. You yeah. have also, you have also seen the darkness that Demetrius spoke of before. Uh, that's what I heard. He doesn't say anything, but continue talking. I would. I have seen some things too. Things that remain unknown to, as far as I know, anyone but I, even the enlightened. And I know that there is something similar to what you describe lurking in our future, licking its lips, toying with us as prey. You seem to me a veteran warrior. And if you put no faith, in the will of the gods, and you put no faith in a greater power striving for a better, striving for the betterment of all of us, or for creating a world or shaping a world that you wish to live in. I would ask that you assist me then. Not, to, in, not in saving your soul, but in helping me to destroy that which which that which would obviate any decision we make nothing we do whether conflict and strife or civilization and peace can have any meaning as long as there is such a thing as fate hanging over our heads an anchor around our legs left there by lazy gods i want someone i'm looking for someone who would not balk 
at drawing their sword in the face of an onrushing darkness. Someone who would not simply live in blissful ignorance, not knowing their fate, but would, would stand rank and proud knowing that they faced it down. Would you be a man for such an event? Would you, would you be able to carry such a charge? Uh, make the make the test. Yeah, I think I'm philosophizing him. Yep, that makes sense. And I wish to throw secrets wise into this because this is a secret. Yep. I wish to. I'm playing into the fact that he's a soldier, so I'm throwing soldiers wise into it. Sounds good as well. Am I doing anything else? Yeah, I am. I'm obviously throwing astrology into it because astrology is all about fate. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Get that open ended die you get, right there. Like, six bad my, sixes in a row. It's interesting that my end result of this belief would be destroying the usefulness of the astrology skill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you are. So your intention here is to convince him to do what? I would like him to. to be open to. I would like to rally him uh, um, to be among the people who I would call upon to defy the Tyrannus stars. Yeah, that sounds right. That's, this would definitely be that guy. Yeah. What would be the failure consequence? Would he just turn me down or would he demand some kind of like proof or something? Um, Am I going to hit a wall or? That's a good question. Um, so here's the interesting... Boy... You, I think you're not seeing the whole picture of what this guy is. Definitely not. So I think, I think fairy, I... yeah. I think the fairy condition is, um, find out he's the champion of uh, the Skull Throne and the Blood God. Yeah, some I Warhammer think, I think, 40k shit starts pouring through the I think, void. I think you him. get a horrible. I think I think the the failure. Um, I think the failure is that you 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 learn what he is. Oh, will he still accept, even though no. I learn what he is? No, he won't okay. accept. Okay, then I shall uh, I shall throw some. The failure condition is that you learn you 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 um, yeah, you get why he can't. All right, uh, I'm gonna throw no. three. No, I think I think the more interesting obstacle would be that he would, but you do un you understand what he is. Oh, interesting. So so it becomes a question of will I still want to have him with me knowing yeah. what he is? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to throw three Arthur into this. Like three Persona? Yep. Because this is a belief I hold to be important to Mason. Yeah, that's fair. What's the op I'm looking at here? His will? Um. Yeah. To get him to talk to you about this? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. So the, my intention is not to get him to talk to me. My intention is to get him to be among the people I would call upon to do this. I want I want to give him like the, I want to initiate him into the idea of the fuck fate goon squad. Yeah, he's very much about that. So like cool. I think just his will's probably fine. Swing. Oh, he just got go. it. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a, a fate into that just because I can. <laughs> Wait, you <laughs> have like forty. Yeah. Nice. Level so, up. So. Uh, no, very, very, I, very. I well. succeed yeah. with a flourish. Um. No, he would be happy to, um, to call uh, to call upon that. Uh, he hates the stars. Um. He hates. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think he will tell you that much then. But he, he's he's very interested. In, I do believe think. that Aurelius has the best intentions in mind when he says he wishes to build a wall to protect humanity. I know you don't believe in him, but believe in his ideal. I, I hold them to be born of a good place, but I am not satisfied with waiting out the storm or building a wall to defend against it. I would slay the darkness in its crypt before it had a chance at our throats. I will not accept fate as preordained, and we must wait out a storm if we could stop it. And that's like my that's my pitch to him, right? When I yeah. when I sell him this idea, um, In, he's he has something for you. Awesome. Find out what the gods fear. 
Because that's the source of the darkness. What the gods fear. I nod to him. And I, I don't want to say, like, until we meet again or so on, because, no. I, like, by, by nature of the conversation, it is understood that we will meet again. Sure. Uh, because we will, we will have this in common. Even should we meet on the battlefield as enemies, I will treat him as a friend. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Um, following a kind of meaningful silence, Mason nods to him and leaves, uh, making his way, making uh, their way uh, yeah. towards um, uh, Noleski's audience chamber, but we can take that next time if you're comfortable with that. Yeah, comfortable that with that. Yeah. So here's a dramatic irony that um, I, I will share with you. Um, the Raven is a chosen one. Of Robert Gok the Destroyer? The Unmaker, correct. I dig it. I kind of I kind of caught on to that. I was like, this sounds about what's right, and uh, I'm very into it. Yes. <laughs> See, I was waiting for you to fucking fail that role so he could be like, you want to like you want to find out what the darkness is? I am the darkness. <laughs> like you know what I, I mean? Like I would Jesus, like yeah, I Mar- am, Is this dude am. literally the fucking edge lord supreme? Is he well, Kylo oh, Ren? When us? you're the fucking chosen one of the god of night of 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 um, entropy, then yeah. <laughs> AP, weren't you listening? He's a Mibanese sword lord. He is the lord of edges. Yeah. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so um, just uh, to ask you, Eric, uh, do I uh, do I pick up on any of these like um, bad vibes from him? Not because no. that wouldn't that wouldn't matter to Mason. What matters is that like he would be no, like, I am the no, chosen of. Don't. Oh, yeah. No, you Doesn't you just matter. pick up on that he is accepting of of anything to destroy fate, and he's yeah. accepting of the. Um, of the idea of being proactive in the fight against the oncoming darkness. Um, so are we going to move forward with trying to get the, the church or should we it's leave that for late. next time? Oh yeah, yeah it's getting it a little late. late. <laughs> I, uh, I already wrote my beliefs for next week. I'm yeah, going to definitely go for way easier, but the important part is, is that I'm going to bring those rats back. We need the rats, the palace it was rats. Sl- yeah, this was a slower, it was, this was slower than I thought. We also had nothing to do with the throne, which was kind of weird. Well, <laughs> so that happens. Then. I don't know that it was slow. It was a very busy, tense episode. It was yeah. super intense. I, I was so confused in that. I was yeah. so confused in that fatal four way between like Olavsky yeah. and us. We were like, everyone wanted something different, and it was like, shit. But, yeah, um, that was a weird. That was a weird thing, but we resolved it. Took a while, but we All got right. there. I need that trait vote though. In a little so bit. bad. In a little bit. When things clash out ahead, we'll, we'll afterwards we'll we'll get to it. I can now say safely that Swan is in near total mastery of persuasion. I was like, dude, if you could conv- if you could convince a chosen one to give up their thing and see the light again, I was like, you want to go down that path? We could do that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I should go talk to the Raven and be like, hey buddy, how's it going? Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I have seven suasion dice now, so now when I fork suasion, it is worth two. I'm still so bad at everything. You motherfucker, you're not bad at anything. You you just keep putting forward uh, talking skills so that you can boost your will. What are you, like, sitting near will seven right now? Very near will seven. Yeah, yeah. Then you're going to be like, oh, look, look at all this sorcery I can do with Will 7 now. I just throw dice everywhere. I don't know that you've noticed this, but at least so far, Mason is being very reserved with their sorcery. Yeah, I have yeah. noticed that. Yeah, very much also the... haven't gone to another city and tried to burn it down yet. So That's true. Right. But I, I hold it to be the case that if, if a conflict would happen, Mason would be more inclined to pick up a stick and try and fend off the enemy with it, even though they have no skill with it. Then they would try to cast a spell on him. All right, let's do let's do beliefs because we're we're out of time. Let's wrap up. Let's do it. So, um, who earned who do who do you think earned fate for their beliefs, or do uh, you think we accomplished any? I uh, guess I sh- I'll start out then, okay. uh, so we can end on the high note. Um, I uh, I think I took fate for my first belief about um. Uh, about wanting to learn the fate of the vanished Regarvians, because I brought that up in the Fatal Four Way in a significant way. Hell in um, a cell. 
<laughs> yep. I um, I took I think I took fate for my uh, my belief about Swan deserving a chance to set Natala down the right path before I accuse her. Uh, I brought that up, uh, and I'm going to see Noleski. So next time. And I think I resolved my goal for my third belief and uh, and can construct a new one, uh, though I will still continue to rally more people to fight against the stars. Then I think I... Uh, I want to say I accepted a worthy task in engaging with this guy, but I don't know that that's the case. Um, that is fishing more than I am convinced. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not convinced. Um, and... Hmm. I'm looking at uh, at risk taker and rabble rouser, uh, but I don't think I don't think so. I don't think so. No, uh, I'll take two fate and a persona. Nice. And mark three persona to what's my belief. Yeah. Cool. Um, what about um? Let's go with Sulius, right? Yes. Uh, so, first belief is it is now time uh, that only the strong wall shelters humanity from the storm. It is now time for Count Swan to step fully into his role as Abadai's chosen. I will guide him into accepting his responsibilities and see that he realizes his title is more than a badge of honor to throw in the faces of his rivals. I definitely tried for this. I mean, Swan can tell me whether I've completed it or not. The thing is... I don't know that he ever threw it in the faces of his rivals. It's like, ha ha, I'm this thing. Ooh, look at me. I'm the chosen one. Uh, I mean, he's definitely done a little bit of that. I, <laughs> it's not often. And he, he puts in the work. I would I would give you persona for it. Eric? Um, I think fate. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a harsh mistress gotta... today. I have fate. Um, so like the question is then, how can I complete this one? Um, do like we need to see like Swan like more fully embracing? Yeah. Maybe you need to win a duel of wits. He has. I don't think he's fully convinced. He's just kind of like using it along for you as a as a tool, right? And I feel like you're definitely not a, about that. I disagree I with that highly. I mean, so you're the only one who can tell us what Swan feels. I don't feel like he's. Let's make no that. mistake here. Swan yeah. is definitely using them as a tool, but it's not just about that. He <laughs> genuinely believes. He is absolutely, no mistaking it, going to do whatever it takes to get ahead and abuse that power in some way. But he is also very much committed to the Abadarian faith and getting this wall built. In this case, it's an actual physical wall. Okay. That's fair. I Maybe I was misreading it then. Okay. All right. Um, second one we didn't really touch into. Uh, I thought that Swan would want to be more into that one. That's number uh, two? The one about Elena Lebeda, but we didn't get to. I mean, I have a belief about the Lebedans too. <laughs> yeah, we just, just didn't get to it. Next time, time on. issue, friend. And then the last one is about founding the Order of the Strong Wall. I think fate, but not persona, because I got Sir Zidomir to agree, but I need the money. When they are founded, they are founded. Yep. Uh, yeah. So we got to get. Got to get that uh, that money to found them first. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, 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 I feel like the fact that I am a former Satova definitely got it, us in trouble with Paul Olavsky. Like, I feel like the entire, like, way that that conversation started and went was like affected the, by the fact that I was there. I mean, you literally incurred an obstacle penalty to your tests for being that, right? So, I think definitely. Yeah, exactly. 
Cool. So two fate, one persona. Boom. Uh, I would think I got fate for my belief. Have Mason arrange a meeting with the Raven. I will buy out his services. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fate for I am responsible to the people. My right. agreement with Paul in regards to stopping war as much as possible within the country. Oh, yeah. And, no, yeah, good point. Good and one. then pompous, again, for literally anything I ever said to Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Starting with, can I call you Paul? And ending with, smug, smug, smug. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, and persona for, the dreams have spoken, the prophet works for me, and it is time to remind him of that. Only you can answer that, Solius Aurelius. I mean, what are you looking for from like? I, think I mean, it's... you instead of instead of you being like, I'm the prophet now. I am the one in charge. You're still like working for my court, and oh yeah, you know, I mean, we're getting I... things done together. But it's clear I'm helping provide direction. I believe you to be the god emperor of mankind. So yeah, <laughs> like cry. I I. I of course, I serve in your radiant light. I would not dream of of dissenting. So I'm curious about that uh, that statement because in the beginning, uh, I feel like that was not the case. Uh, when the point about Atala and Hell were being was being brought up, you were very much like, "No, Ronald, fuck your opinion. This is important." Yeah. I mean, yeah, like uh, I like I said in the chat before, he made that belief like. He's not just Demetrius isn't gonna be like a yes man. He's still gonna like act in the way that he thinks he needs to to like save the world. But that doesn't change the fact that like the emperor is in command. Like he is the top of the religious food chain because he is the light of the empire. Take it. Okay, I can see that. All right. Finally back up to three persona. It's been a while since I've yeah. had this much. I don't even know what to do with such a plethora. I spent all of it, so I only have one now. Okay. Uh I think that covers it for me. Man. Wow. Maybe next episode we could just beat each other to death. <laughs> it would be way less <laughs> intense. So <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um AP, what do you got going on? uh burning bread is gonna try to launch again this week we'll see how that works uh i'm playing civ 6 tonight and then mass effect andromeda all week i'm launching another winner's edge next month and i'm starting a secret campaign up that i'm play testing in the next couple of days cool i'm very busy yeah it sounds like it um i hope andromeda is good Everyone hopes Andromeda is good. Yeah. Cool. I just, I finished all of the Mass Effects in a yeah. row the day before the Andromeda preload happened. And I was like, oh, I'm finally here. Oh, God, it took 80 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it, was, it was a hard commit there. It's a hard commit. It was yeah. basically like playing Witcher 3, but without the DLCs. That game is long. That game is really long. Yeah, I need to, I need to get back into The Witcher. I need, I need to finish it. I need to, I need to play the DLCs. I got sidetracked mm -hmm. hunting monsters, and now it's been so long since I played the game. I don't remember where I'm at. Here's the problem: all I did was hunt the monsters and do side quests, and now I'm so over leveled for the regular content. Like the regular boss monsters are like level 17 and 18, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like level 27. That's a valid way to play role playing games, though. Like, that's like deliberate design right there. I mean, I was deliberately awesome, so yes. Yeah. Cool. So, um, Daniel. What's Hi, up? everyone. Um, playing role-playing games. Uh, in this case, we've been playing some masks, which is nice. Uh, we finally round up the, uh, rounded off the first, the first chunk of the masks campaign over on Charisma to AC. Uh, it was a four-parter, it turns out, uh, ending in a climactic, spectacular fashion that I shall not spoil uh, for any of you. It's a good game. It's a really good game. Other than that, uh, playing Burning Wheel here, having a good time, chilling, chillaxing and relaxing, 
uh, and something something Bel Air. <laughs> so just to be clear, Daniel, now that I've been intrigued by you not spoiling your mass game, if I wanted to see it, where would I go? Oh, AP, you know just what to say, don't you? You would go and watch it on youtube.com slash charisma to AC. Uh, now that's a number two, not typing out two. Oh, that is very correct. It, it's, it's, not, uh, it, it's not the number two. It is charisma to AC spelled in, in letters all the way. My goodness. Uh, and I shall... But, yeah. To be clear, that's youtube.com slash charisma to AC. Indeed. All right. Just, just want to be super clear. I, I know, like, Clarity is the name of the game here. I, I appreciate that I'm able to help you with this, AP, and that you're not at all shilling for me. That's uh, it's really cool of you. I mean, I really enjoyed the Mason bobblehead I just downloaded at ericvulgaris.com and 3D printed out during this session. <laughs> you can get that and all the other fine goods at ericvulgaris.com. No. <laughs> nice. And Sam? Hi, I'm Sam, aka Wizard Fool. Um, I'm around here. I'm actually keep an eye out. I'm going to be starting in a Uncharted Worlds campaign on Swagulous Channel on Tuesday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, um, and that's like a kind of like Firefly starts without numbers, inspired py- powered by the Apocalypse game, uh, where I'm playing a very, very different character to the one I hear. I'm trying to talk as little as possible in this next game with this character wow. uh, so that I can have some some different stuff. But uh, yeah, tune in for that. Should be good. Other than that, come watch more of this because, yeah, more failing at rules. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy, the amount of failures today. Yeah, if you if you like failure, if, like if you like role failure, don't go to AP because man, what's up with that? Yeah, you 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 are crushing it today, AP. Thanks. I uh, I would say I got lucky, but uh, it was all of those sacrifices I made to the unicorn god. Mm, all praise, course. all praise, naturally, all praise. Okay. All right, guys, then uh, we're out of here. So take care. See you next week. Bye.